said to you in the last meeting about Tessa Wolf, the Sufi way, is of the most important things in life, and the greatest thing in knowledge. The science of his light, this knowledge, Tessa Wolf, illuminates the knowers like the sun. It is the source of all the lights and of all the secrets. How could this not be when it is in the heart mind of the way of the prophets? It is the way of the courtesy, the love, and the knowledge of God, from him to him. It is the way one can reach God, who is his master. Jibril and all the angels and all the believers will be his support and his guidance if he wants to follow the way of God and to realize the secrets of his knowledge. For this he must be ready to make his heart the house of God filled with love, to be present at God's table and to know by God in God. On that day he will be helped by him. Tessa Wolf is the way of wool or suf, because the Sufi is like wool between the hands of God. The wool has no will of its own. It is soft and easy, and it goes with the waves of the will, whichever way the breath flows. God knows all the secrets of the Sufi, as the Sufi knows the secrets of God, which he has taught him. He is the reflection of the qualities of God, refusing all the qualities which are not of the truth. He is empty of everything but God, forgetting all the unnecessary sciences. As he is following the way of truth, he is subsistent, or al bara in the presence of God. The Sufis are sitting in the first row seats face to face with the immediate presence of God. This knowledge is transmitted by the masters of the earth, the prophets, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon them all, with whom God speaks. In the Quran it says, And keep thyself with those who call on their Lord morning and evening, desiring his good will, and let not thine eyes pass from them, desiring the beauties of this world's life, and follow not them whose hearts we have made unmindful of our remembrance, who follows his low desires, in his case exceed due bounds. That's from Quran 18.28. Muhammad, son of Abdullah, is the master of this science, who helps me. As he received it from Jibril, who received it from God, he gives it to all the lovers of God and believers in him as it was written for them, that each should receive uniquely grace from the divine source. That which God has sent down to his prophets is the word which was given before to all the prophets from Adam through the silsila or chains of chain of transmission of the tree of the essence of God, which gives shade to all the lovers of God. We ask him to keep us with them to be with him and not for anybody else. We know nobody but him, and where is the else? How can we count? Where are the numbers? Only one. Know that the word which I want to share with you, and which is coming from the essence of God, is La ilaha illallah. There is no God but God. So it was in the beginning, and so it will be in the end without end. The word was transmitted from one to one, from prophet to prophet, from believer to believer, until it reaches us with his wishes. Imam Ali is the esoteric message of Muhammad. He is the keeper of all the secrets of his knowers, like a cave which is holding the pearl of truth. As he received it from Muhammad, he is the gateway to the presence of God. 
and so his hearing is as the hearing of God. Muhammad is a city of the presence of God, and Ali is the gate to that city. Ali strikes his heart and says, Take from me before you lose me. Take from my heart all of the secrets of God. Within my heart is his boundless knowledge. He is the perfect vessel for the most precious gift. He carries a secret, and he is the secret, which is the name of God. After that, the message was carried by the son of the daughter of the prophet, um, Al-Hassan, and the knowledge was passed on from one to one as it was written in origin. What is the most important of the science of Tasawwuf, um, as its essence is God, of all the sciences it is the greatest. It gives you to know of the uh, secrets of the spirit and the soul, and guides you to be in fear of God in the beginning and to know him, to leave everything and be one with him in the end. Those who trust in this science are the most special, the believers in God. Those who study and understand it are the most special of the special, the most near of the near. He who speaks it with courtesy, politeness, is like a shining star on the sea, the depths of which cannot be fathomed. You must come to the shore of this sea to begin to know the subtle secrets of the soul, to be washed in its water, which takes you from the density of this earth to the world of the soul and the light. So do not turn away from the path of light, because if you are turned away from it, you will be in the place of darkness, pain, and suffering, as those who are lost. I ask God that we may be amongst those who listen with the remembrance of the heart, who have a heart, and this heart is God who listens with the hearing of God, and God tells them everything. Then listen to what I have. Then listen to what I say to you and understand. There is no God but He. So He so so it was in the beginning, and so it will be in the end. Without end. The word transmitted from one to one, from prophet to prophet from believer to believer until it reaches us by his will. Yeah.